In Singapore, I had one person come, he's Chinese and speaks very good English. But now he sent me an email, he said, all the problems in understanding comes because we don't, we, English is not our mother tongue. Now I found out, checking on Webster Dictionary, that labile means to be open to change. To be open to change. See, this is, but this is only one, one uh, example, only one definition, but it's a very good definition. In other dictionaries it, it says labile means not stabile. Not stable, but it just it helps you nothing. But to be open to change is a good good definition, but it's only one. So now, when you have somebody coming to you and you want to look at him from this new understanding of health and disease, you're not checking his supplements levels. You're not checking if he has maybe some bacteria. You're not checking if he has had all the necessary vaccinations. You're checking, what are you checking, if you're coming from this new kind of understanding? It's, a, it's really, it's, it doesn't sound so big, but it can change you completely your life. What are you looking at then? What are you searching for? In a person, in, your cli in a client that comes to you if, you, if you see practice medicine from this point of view, what are you searching for? Yeah, the, but this again just a word to information now we know it's information but what are you actually practically looking for willpower. Will willpower yeah but let's say there's somebody who has a lot of willpower doesn't mean he, he's not getting cancer of course of course most people who have a lot of willpower they are the most number one people who get cancer yes so I tell you also why but now what are we looking for just based on this yes are they open to are they open to change? And this is exactly another word for are they open to the dynamic lab equilibrium in some area? And people who are very strong, a lot of willpower, they come to you and that's the number one people who get cancer. Why? Because they come to you and say, I don't understand. I mean, I had not one sick day in my last 10 years. I didn't have a cough. And you, now you tell me I have only uh, three months to live? I mean, I was totally in control of my life. So this is the people, they are considered of course very healthy before and they consider themselves very healthy because they had control of their life. So now because this is, this is a, a, especially a German great uh, value if you have control of your life, but America is same, it's the whole western world, but also the east is about this but they just control their life in another way. But it's all about controlling your life, having control, maybe in the Wheel East it's about having a big family, being part of the family, being part of the culture, that's to be in control of your life. Yes? So it's just different ways, but this co really combines the East and the West, that they believe when you are healthy, when you are stable, when you are in control, when you, when you, when you know how to make your future more predictable. Yes? So, and I'm saying the opposite. If you're doing this, it's the best way to eventually get nature there in, on the plan to, to give you really big challenges. Be it either with disease or be with some tragedy in your life. Because the, 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 ultimate, the ultimate health for me is being open to change. Yes. Open to change. You don't have open to change unless you have the power to be open to change. Well, this is uh, this is I I question this. I question this. You see, you you think if you and that's the German way. The German way. I tell you, the German way. You can be only open as much as you know. In the end, you will be in control. In the in the end, you can be open as much as you know. In the end, if something attacks you you know and have the power to deal with it. So you can go, but only if you know I'm strong, I can deal with all what's coming. But that's ego, well, on every level, on every level, if you, I mean like now if you can say, well, will is something on a spiritual level, then we cannot talk about it anymore. Then will is of course something so untalkable and then you are right because then whatever you say is right. 
if, if you say if you if you are completely uh, God-like, then nothing can get you. But then I asked, what means God-like? Or what man says mean perfect will? Of course, when you talk on this level, everything is correct. If you're con completely conscious, you're, you're completely healthy. But then we don't know what it is. So I'm saying, this is something where you can really make it practical. And when somebody comes to you, and you check, is he, is he has a lot of willpower, because maybe he wants his financial healing, yeah? So he's, he's complete, completely in control of his uh, financial health. He had never had a time where he was broke. Never had a time uh, uh, of, of really having to beg for anything. So he had a lot of willpower from this point of view. So you can say, <coughs> he's healthy. But look at how many people of this kind come and then with cancer or with some very, very, very severe disease because <coughs> they were hoping and they were believing this, this, is, this is our culture tells us this, this is health. If you can do what you want, you can attract what you want into your life. If you make the, the, the right choice and you know how to work for them, then you're a healthy person. And I'm saying, this is not what I consider health.